The temperature at which condensation will take place within a gas if further cooling occurs is known as A. Critical temperature B. Dew point C. Absolute temperature Answer B. Dew point Float gauges on liquefied gas tankers is an example of which gauging system? A. Closed devices which do not penetrate the cargo tank. B. Restricted gauging. C. Closed devices which penetrate the cargo tank. D. Indirect systems. Answer. B. Restricted gauging. For cargo tank entry, the toxic gas concentration should be below. A. Less than the OEL. B. Less than 80% of the OEL. C. Less than 50% of the OEL. D. Less than 60% of the OEL. Answer. C. Less than 50% of the O. What is the propellant gas used in fixed TCP, firefighting systems on deck of liquefied gas carrier? A. Oxygen. B. Compressed air. C. Acetylene. D. Nitrogen. Answer. D. Nitrogen. Whether the cargo tanks are of type A, B or C, a complete double hull is required for carriage of liquefied gas cargoes below what temperature? A. Minus 88 degrees centigrade. B. Minus 55 degrees centigrade. C. Minus 104 degrees centigrade. D. Minus 162 degrees centigrade. Answer. B. Minus 55 degrees centigrade. In the fixed gas detection system on board, the gas codes call for sampling intervals from any one space, generally not exceeding how long? A. 60 minutes. B. 30 minutes. C. 45 minutes. D. 20 minutes. Answer. B. 30 minutes. What is flashpoint? A. The lowest temperature at which the liquid ignites without spark. B. The lowest temperature at which a liquid gives off sufficient vapor to form a flammable mixture with air near the surface of the liquid. C. The temperature at which a blevy, boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion, takes place. D. The lowest temperature to which a liquid or gas requires to be raised to cause self-sustained spontaneous combustion without ignition by a spark or flame. Answer. B. The lowest temperature at which a liquid gives off sufficient vapor to form a flammable mixture with air near the surface of the liquid. How many relief valves have to be fitted for cargo tanks above 20 cubic meters capacity? A. At least one. B. At least two. C. At least three. D. At least four. Answer. B. At least two. Independent type B tanks on gas carriers are A. Completely self-supporting when full or empty. B. Self-supporting only when empty. C. Self-supporting only when full. D. Not self-supporting. Answer. A. Completely self-supporting when full or empty. The IGC code stipulates that a secondary barrier must be able to contain tank leakage for a period of how many days? A. 10 days. B. 15 days. C. 30 days. D. 45 days. Answer. B. 15 days. Type C tanks are normally spherical or cylindrical pressure vessels having design pressures higher than A. 0.7 bar. B. 2.0 bar. C. 1.0 bar. D. 5.0 bar. Answer. B. 2.0 bar. Semi-membrane tanks are a. Completely self-supporting when loaded or empty. B. Self-supporting only when loaded. C. Self-supporting only when empty. D. Not self-supporting tanks. Answer. C. Self-supporting only when empty. How many independent fixed DCP units for firefighting are required on the deck of a gas carrier of cargo capacity 1000 M3 and above? A. At least one independent DCP unit. B. At least two independent DCP units. C. At least three independent DCP units. D. At least four independent DCP units. Answer. B. At least two independent DCP units. What are carbamates? 
A. A white powdery substance produced by the reaction of ammonia with carbon dioxide. B. The compounds formed by the interaction of water and hydrocarbons at certain pressures and temperatures. C. A compound formed by the chemical combination of cargo liquid or vapor with atmospheric oxygen or oxygen from another source. D. The chemical union of two or more molecules of the same compound to form a larger molecule of a new compound. Answer. A. A white powdery substance produced by the reaction of ammonia with carbon dioxide. A device used to determine the liquid vapor interface during the ullaging of semi and only pressurized tanks. A. Radar gauges. B. Float gauges. C. Capacitance gauges. D. Slip tubes. Answer. D. Slip tubes. There are three types of gas tankers according to the carriage condition, such as A. LPG ships, reefer ships, container ships. B. LPG ships, LEG ships, LNG ships. C. Chlorine ships, LPG, chemical ships, reefer container ships. D. Fully pressurized ships, semi-pressurized ships, fully refrigerated ships. Answer, D. Fully pressurized ships, semi-pressurized ships, fully refrigerated ships. The cargo area of a gas tanker which is not equipped in an approved manner to ensure that its atmosphere is at all times maintained in a safe manner is A. A. Gas safe space. B. Airlock. C. Gas dangerous space. D. Machinery space. Answer C. Gas dangerous space. A space other than a gas dangerous space is known as A. Airlock B. Air handling unit C. Enclosed space D. A gas safe space Answer D. A gas safe space Can hot work in dangerous and hazardous areas be carried out during cargo, tank cleaning, gas freeing, purging or inerting operations? A. Yes B. No C can be carried out as long as we obtain a cold work permit. Answer. B. No. Access from a gas dangerous zone on the open weather deck to a gas safe space is arranged through. A. The accommodation. B. An airlock. C. The motor room. D. The compressor room. Answer B. An airlock. Requirement for cargo tank entry with respect to tank atmosphere check of hydrocarbon content. A. Hydrocarbon content must be more than 10% LFL. B. Hydrocarbon content must be less than 1% LFL. C. Hydrocarbon content must be above the UFL. D. Hydrocarbon content must be between the LFL and UFL. Answer. B. Hydrocarbon content must be less than 1% LFL. What is the critical pressure of propane in bars absolute? A. 38.1 bars absolute. B. 42.6 bars absolute. C. 50.2 bars absolute. D. 46.2 bars absolute. Answer B. 42.6 bars absolute. What is the critical pressure of N-butane in bars absolute? A. 38.1 bars absolute. B. 42.6 bars absolute. C. 52.6 bars absolute. D. 32.2 bars absolute. Answer A. 38.1 bars absolute. What is known as inert gas? A. Non-flammable gases containing insufficient oxygen to support combustion. B. Flammable gas with concentration between the LEL and UFL limits. C. Flammable gas with concentration above UFL limits. D. Toxic gas having concentration percentage below the TLVTWA. Answer A. Non-flammable gases containing insufficient oxygen to support combustion. What is the critical pressure of ethylene in bars absolute? A. 46.2 bars absolute. B. 38.8 bars absolute. C. 50.5 bars absolute. D. 42.6 bars absolute. Answer C. 50.5 bars absolute. LNG fire is classified under which class of fire? A. Class A. B. Class B. 
C. Class C. D. Class D. Answer. C. Class C. Which fixed firefighting system is mandatory for firefighting on the deck of a liquefied gas carrier? A. Fixed low expansion foam firefighting system. B. Fixed DCP system. C. CO2 fixed system. D. Fixed wet chemical firefighting system. Answer B. Fixed DCP system. What is critical temperature? A. The temperature above which a gas cannot be liquefied by pressure alone. B. The temperature at which the gas changes state to liquid at a corresponding pressure. C. The temperature at which the gas gets superheated. D. The temperature at which the liquefied gas changes state from liquid to gas. Answer. A. The temperature above which a gas cannot be liquefied by pressure alone. What is flammable range? A. A mixture of flammable gas in air whose gas percentage is above the upper flammable limit. B. A mixture of flammable gas in air whose gas percentage is between the LFL and UFL. C. A mixture of flammable gas in air whose gas percentage is below the LFL. D. A mixture of flammable gas in air whose gas percentage is between 10% of the LFL and LFL. Answer B. A mixture of flammable gas in air whose gas percentage is between the LFL and UFL. Fill in the blanks. Airlock doors should be self-closing and there must not be any hook or other device by which they could be held open. There should be minimum distance of at least dash between both doors. A. 0.5 meters. B. 1.5 meters. C. 1.0 meters. D. 2.0 meters. Answer. B. 1.5 meters. When the overpressure of airlock or gas safe space is lost. A. How electrical equipment that is not of a certified safe type should be de energized. B. All electrical equipment that is of a certified safe type should be de energized. C. All electrical equipment should not stop running. D. All electrical equipment, both certified safe type or not certified safe type should be de energized. Answer A. All electrical equipment that is not of a certified safe type should be de energized. Can LNG, LPG be used as fuel in ship's engine room? A. Only LPG can be used. B. Only LNG can be used. C. Yes, both can be used. D. No, none can be used. Answer B. Only LNG can be used. List the dryers used with an inert gas generator on gas ships to dry the inert gas generated. A. Refrigerated dryer and absorption dryer. B. Only refrigerated dryer. C. Only absorption dryer. D. None of the above, only demister used. Answer A. Refrigerated dryer and absorption dryer. What is the operation carried out prior to cooling down the tanks on fully refrigerated liquefied gas carriers? A. Gassing up. B. Inerting. C. Aerating. D. Gas freeing. Answer. A. Gassing up.